Hello and good morning. My name is Jonathan Fletcher and we're going to see some important things we need to know about our feet in, uh, in yoga and in general when we stand up. So let's call this lesson the four corner concept. Okay, so let's stand on our feet and make sure that your knees are facing forward. So right now this knee of mine when I start normally is turning slightly more inside than the left knee. So I can do this by rotating the knee but then this mount of my leg just goes out. So a better way to fix that would be starting from the base. Okay, So I will bend my knees so I won't hyperextend or lock the knees. Bend my knees slightly just a little bit, bend the knees. And then I want to make sure the bone of the center of my ankle, which is in between all these bones here, is in line with my second finger. So it's more important to be parallel with the out, outer edges of the feet than with the inner edges of the feet. So right now my big toes are slightly more inside towards the midline than my inner ankles. So now that I got them aligned and I bend my knees slightly or not, you can see my knee is already much better. Still slightly there is a tendency to go inwards from my right knee. So what I will do, I will think of all this lower part of my legs going inside Something is pulling this together and my upper legs going outside. So my legs are active. Now I will try to balance on the front part of my feet where my big mounds are and collapse a little bit inside and from there I will rotate my legs outside coming with the weight to the outer edge of the pinky mount. So now I'm slightly bending my knees. My legs are active. The weight is balanced between the inner and outer part, inner and outer part of my feet. And now I want to balance it also between the inner ankle and the outer ankle. So I will slightly shift my weight backwards without detaching my front part of my feet and feel the outer edges and the inner edges and try to find the middle. So I want to find the weight to be equally distributed on the four corners of my feet. One, two, three, four. By doing this, my legs will move, I will, actually all this here is burning because the muscles here, the perineus longus and brevis and everything, they're really attaching all the way to, to the feet. You can lengthen your big toes forwards and your little pinkies forwards and press them on the ground and try to extend these three fingers. So what I like to do as I couldn't do it in the beginning, it took me time to take my fingers underneath these three middle toes, press on all ten toes, and then try to relax these three fingers, these three toes. Keep pressing down here and here, and have these extended. Breathe and relax. So this is one out of many ways to find the alignment in your feet. Um, basically in any yoga pose, you, in all the yoga poses, standing poses, you want to try to find center between the four corners of the feet. It's not the only action but this is the base and from these actions of trying to distribute the weight equally between four corners 
all your legs will be much more aligned and you will be much more safe in your knees, hips and ankles and thereby you will also find more space to grow from your spine that connects to the hip bones. So this is a simple lesson. Practice this as much as you can. Basically in the end you want to be able to really place both the little toe and the big toe and raise and extend the three toes. It takes time but practice it. I did it in like two days since a friend of mine showed this to me and it shouldn't take you much longer. So just practice it and have trust that you can regain control over your toes.